with Rogan and Abby Lechtaler of the Downtown Grocery in Ludlow, Vermont. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you. Our pleasure. So tell me a little bit about your restaurant in Vermont, the Downtown Grocery. The Downtown Grocery is a seasonal regional cuisine in a fun, casual, fine dining atmosphere. The set menu is always changing, so you're not going to go in and get the same thing every time. You are there to eat what is of the moment. You're eating really beautiful food, but you can be in jeans and a t-shirt, which is crucial for Vermont. And let's talk a little bit about Vermont cuisine, because it's not as defined of a cuisine, per se, as in other parts of the country. You also have a lot of people coming from out of town. It's not just locals. So how do you make the restaurant feel like Vermont while also being familiar and being of the stature for people coming from out of town? Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the relationship with the farms. I mean, that's so so big in Vermont right now. Using techniques from elsewhere, a lot of our stuff has roots in, you know, Mediterranean cuisine or French or wherever it may have come from, but then it's taking the products that are right there at hand um, from our, our neighbors. And what are some of the products that perhaps Vermont has that other parts of the country maybe don't have that you're particularly oh, excited Maple about? syrup. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheddar cheese. There's so much good stuff. <clears throat> I mean, you know, from the honeycomb that's that's uh, up, this, up the street in Andover to the Berkshire pigs that are a couple towns over in Springfield. I mean, everything. Everything we do is... is from Vermont, ultimately, uh, outside of the seafood, which we we get from Boston, and that's you know, or, or Portland, Maine, and that's as that's as good as it gets. He's cooking close to home, and um, you know the, the farmers are developing so that you can get you can get Vermont lamb. We have Vermont lamb on the menu tonight. We've got Vermont pork. Um, you can get goat, and it, you know, it, it's just developed into its own little micro farm. You know. Uh, state where everything's available now. You are from Vermont, but you've cooked all over the country in the South. You're from the South. How do you bring those influences <clears throat> into your cooking and into the restaurant where it feels like Vermont, but you're also drawing from this wide palette that you've both experienced? A lot of y'alls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't gonna move cross country with a Vermonter if he couldn't <laughs> make me some pimento cheese and a mean shrimp and grits. Definitely in the dishes, right. uh, you know, it uses catfish often, mm. which is which is so fun. Domestic, always catfish. That keeps it fresh in the kitchen to always be trying new things and doing new dishes. And, mm. and the South has really provided a great escape for that. Right. And there's also a huge difference in seasonality. I mean, from where, you know, if you were cooking in the South and then you moved back to Vermont and then you opened the restaurant, you know, how do you handle in some ways of being a locally focused restaurant, ingredient focused from Vermont restaurant with also having the reality of, you know, not a lot grows in Vermont for a large portion of the year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Summer's amazing. So, yeah. yeah, we really get excited when we have <laughs> products coming in in June. Um, yeah, you just, I mean, that's part of the test to be creative and to find things you can do with cellar vegetables and roots and a uh, lot of pickling and preserving and you know stuff that Vermonters have been doing forever. How do you see the dining scene in Vermont and you know what are the types of things that you like to as you're you know here at the Beard House kind of as Vermont emissaries on some level how do you discuss the cuisine of Vermont and the types of restaurants that exist in Vermont? It's growing it's getting a lot better there's a lot of great uh, restaurants that we love to go to now and it's getting more recognition it's not I'm not the only Vermonter who went out and, and fell in love with cooking and so there's a mm. there's a handful of young guys and gals who are doing a really nice job. Well thank you so much for joining me here at the James Beard House really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.